Hello everyone. Now let's see more about standalone servers and its profiles. Each standalone script launches one instance of server. To launch multiple servers, you have to run multiple standalone scripts. Let's see the profiles available for standalone servers. By default, standalone script uses standalone.xml which supports applications with Java EE web. Whereas standalone full.xml supports Java EE features, applications with Java EE features, and it does not have any clustering capabilities. When we need some clustering capabilities for Java EE web profile, we use standalone HAXML. With all the above features including clustering capabilities and Java EE application supporting, we can use standalone full HA.XML. So as I said, by, by default standalone script uses standalone.xml to create a server. In order for your in order for your server to support Java E features, you have to start the server in this way. Standalone.sh is, is just a launching script and you wanted it to use standalone ha.xml so you configure it this way. C defines configuration and here you mention the XML file which you want your server to be created with. It started. Now this means the server which is active has the capabilities of clustering. Now let's deploy an application into multiple servers. In first terminal, let's launch a server with high availability profile with server node named server1. This means you are creating a server which uses standalone ha.xml that means with clustering capabilities and you name this server node as server1. The server which is named server1 is started. Now let's start another, let's create another server which also uses standalone ha.xml and it is named server2 and let's and the offset is required since the first server is running on port number 8080 since you cannot run one other server on the same port you create a offset with 100 or 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 you can choose any offset accordingly so this means when you give the offset 100 the next server is going to be created at 8180 that means 8080 plus 100 so let's start another server at port number 8180 with name which is named server 2 So now we have two servers ready which is server 1 and server 2 at port numbers 8080 and 8180. So now let's deploy an application into these two servers. So let's get into the home folder. Let's get into the folder where we have our var.
let's move this into deployments of standalone server and it's been moved into deployments let's verify here you can see a standalone folder directory so let's get into standalone directory here you can see different configuration files and other other directories so here you can see a deployments directory where the deployments which ever forwarded into this directory the work the word files whichever are available under this deployments are directly deployed onto the server so as you remember we have moved a war di file into the deployments directory let's verify that as you can see we have a war file moved into deployments directory while this being moved into deployments directory there is a change that has been occurred in both the servers where you can see in the first terminal console it says deployed jboss spring greeter dot war so that means basically the first server have spring greeter application deployed into it and the same happens with the server number 2 it also it also deployed the same application into the server so basically now we have both the servers with this application deployed into it let's verify the application on both the servers since our first server is at localhost 8080 here our application is ready let's verify another server which is with the offset of 100 that means 8180 so as you can see our application is ready at both the servers one with server 1 and the other is server 2 with high avail with clustering features this is just a simple deployment of an application on multiple nodes without any more cluster or session replication or high availability let's get into those concept in our further videos thank you